So I got another Sneakers W, but this time it was from a shock drop. Now I don't know how or why these things happen, and I don't know how you end up hitting, but I actually got them on my wife's phone. So actually I tried for my phone, I registered, I ran frantically around the house. I was like, Where, wife, where's your phone? And then she's like, it's in the kid's playroom. I went and grabbed it and then uh, went and checked out. Then I actually hit on hers, even though it was like minutes after my first entry. So it wasn't done where it's a timed entry. It just seems to be random. If you guys know better, of course, leave a comment. But anyway, this is a pair that I, and I've said this probably a thousand times through the year, but I've been wanting to get uh, back in my collection. And um, here we go, dudes. Fire Red Air Jordan 4s. But this time around, we have the OG Nike Air branding on the back. And it feels like the quality of the materials are improved from the previous retro in 2012. So this is a pair that I'm really excited to get back even though the price point is elevated at $200. Let's go ahead and give you guys a look at the Air Jordan 4 in the Fire Red colorway. What is going on guys, Hess here. Hopefully you guys are having a good day out there. If you guys would like to hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and while you're down there, if you wanna like the video, feel free to do that. Also, if you guys don't follow me on social, at Hess Kicks on Instagram and Twitter, and then Collective Kicks is my website where I post a bunch of sneaker deals that I post for you guys every week. And stay tuned to that because I will be having a lot of deals coming for a Black Friday and whatnot, especially for the holidays coming up. Today though, I got a pair of these like almost a month early, I believe. The Fire Red Air Jordan 4s, I thought these were dropping the end of November, so really crazy to get that shock drop, and even crazier that I hit, and even crazier crazier that I hit on my wife's phone and not on mine, and her phone literally never hits on anything. I don't understand the algorithm with sneakers. I wish it was easier to understand. It seems like it's ever evolving and ever changing, but regardless, I'm happy that I got a pair of these because this is definitely a pair that's gonna stay in the collection. I personally am a huge fan of the Air Jordan 3, 4s, and 5s, especially in the OG colorways, and this, if you didn't know, is an OG colorway. What better colorway too? White, red, black, Chicago Bulls sort of vibes to this for sure. Even happier that I'm able to add it to the collection of the OG joints right here. The only one that we need to retro with that Nike Air branding on the back is the Military Blue, I believe. I think that's the four that I originally released in 88. But this colorway is probably one of the sleepers for the best Air Jordan 4 colorway. I know a lot of people really like this colorway. And then that white cement colorway is also very iconic. However, something just sits right with the white, red, and black for myself personally. So this is a good one to get back in my collection. I had the previous retro but when it came down to it the quality on that one in 2012 was absolutely butt it was so terrible so the fact that they released this and it feels a little bit more premium still not amazing amazing but it definitely feels better than the previous version uh, i'm super stoked on that on the box the colors say that this is white fire red black tech gray two hundred dollars is the price point and i went with true to size which is what i like to usually do in my air jordan 4s i think it's safe to say that the air jordan 4 is probably one of the most coveted air jordans of all time when you have so many ridiculous collaborations with the Air Jordan 4 model. You have anything from Undefeated and Eminem from back in the day, Travis Scott, Virgil Abloh, Union, Dornbecker. I have a couple of the ones uh, behind me, but it's just one of those hyped up silhouettes that get really, really good collaborations. And a lot of the collaborations just look really dope. And even the ones that don't look dope, like the Union 4s that people didn't really like, end up being dope. So it's funny how that happens. And speaking of those Union joints, how many people are gonna start rocking the Air Jordan 4s like this now? 
I feel like that wave is going to start catching on just because it is what it is and it does say Air Jordan uh, the proper way right there. Now I just crease the crap out of my tongue. But, but anyway, so just an overview of the shoe. You have the white leather that basically is done in a couple different panels. One across the toe guard of the shoe, one across the top. You could even see the seam right here on this side of the shoe as well as on the back so you can see where the things get married together. You do have a black mesh on the tongue and then a black mesh on the sides that have a white rubberized netting over top of it, which is kind of what the Air Jordan 4 is known for. You also have red TBU on the laces on the bottom and then the top. And then you do have a triangle like wing on the back that holds the lace together as well. Jumpman logo with flight underneath it on the tongue and then you have white laces. On the back heel you have that infamous pull tab that comes up right here and then the Nike Air branding in red. On the midsole you have black and then white with a white air unit. On the front section that's rubberized you have red and then that tech gray. And then on the bottom it says Nike and then tech gray, white, and red. You have a red liner and then a black insole with the red Nike Air branding on it. So one of the questions I have for like Jordan brand people if they're ever even watching these videos, when are we gonna change the compound in the midsole? Now I don't want something necessarily soft and squishy, although that would be fun. We wanna keep the traditional form and shape. We know that this midsole crumbles over time, especially over like 10 years or something like that. The shoes are still good, the leather's still good, but the midsole makes this shoe unwearable. So short of doing a sole swap on these to bring new life, it would be cool if they use a rubber that didn't decompose the way that the current material is used. Now, one thing I did notice about this pair, different than these other two, to the touch, it's actually softer in hand. So I don't know if they went with a different formula than like this one, but this is like really tough to the touch. This one's actually softer and squishier. So I don't know what it is. If I'm wrong, leave a comment. If I'm right, maybe drop a comment if somebody knows why this is softer. Maybe they went back to the OG formula. Maybe they went with something different to make it last longer. I'm not sure, but I think that the right solution would be to make something last longer. I'm pretty sure that the midsole on this is a mortal flaw in the shoe, unlike the Air Jordan 1s that have rubber through the entire midsole and outsole. But this colorway is just so good, man. Just so many memories of seeing this sneaker time and time again, Michael Jordan wearing the shoe. It was just such an iconic moment in time that we're able to recapture over and over again every five to eight to 10 years that Jordan brand decides to bring them back. And then a new generation of kids are gonna get this shoe, hopefully look up images of Jordan wearing these shoes himself and be inspired. And to me, that's the most fun part about this whole thing is the way that sneakers like this that are made from 1988 can transcend time and now all of a sudden still be cool. And my kid can be rocking a pair of these and be like, those are the cool uh, shoes with the guy jumping on it. it. Like Mario, he said, he literally said that guy looks like he's jumping in the air like Mario. That's pretty awesome. So now he likes Jordans, go figure. Little does my son know that Mario is like super old too, but it is what it is. Anyways, that's a quick look at this sneaker right here. In my opinion, the OG colorways are kind of a must. Like you can have your Travis's and your Kaws and, and the other collaborations and stuff, but the OG colorways just hit different in my opinion. And I'm always going to be going after a fresh new pair whenever they end up dropping, unfortunately. And I never had an original pair back in 88. I had a fake pair from like Volume Shoe Source, which used to be Payless before Payless was Payless. That's how terrible everything was back then. But it was 20 bucks and I had a fake air unit and it was not very fun. But now I got a pair of these and I even got them early. So I'm super stoked on that. But uh, did you guys cop a pair? Are you interested in copying them when they drop? Drop a comment and let me know. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on the video. Thanks again, and we will see you guys hopefully back for some more videos. Peace, guys.